Hey there, folks. Welcome to the Farmers and Recreation Division Virtual Recreation How to Draw Cartoons live stream. We are going to uh, draw, be drawing three characters today. Uh, before we get started, uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, drawing cartoons, uh, my experience. Um, I've been drawing cartoons since I was uh, just a little guy, uh, kindergarten, first grade. Uh, I am by no means a professional artist. I'm just a guy who likes to draw and a guy who likes to draw cartoons specifically. Now, when you're drawing cartoons, um, you just gotta remember cartoons are only made up of shapes, uh, curved lines, anybody can draw cartoons. It's simple enough. Um, you, you know, uh, you, you can't be perfect at first when you're starting off anything. You're gonna watch me draw. I'm gonna show you how to draw some cartoons and by no means are my cartoons gonna look perfect? Uh, but we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna draw some cartoons. Uh, so let's get started by checking out materials we will need. Uh, now you will see the words Hello Kitty there at the bottom of your screen. That will be the first cartoon we're gonna be drawing. Uh, but we're gonna check out our materials first and talk about one or two more things uh, before we get started. So all I'm using today is I've got a pad of paper here. Any paper will do, lined paper, uh, printer paper, it doesn't matter. Paper is paper, you know? Uh, you can draw cartoons on any paper. Uh, I'm gonna be using uh, a mechanical pencil. It doesn't matter what kind of pencil, we're just gonna be using a pencil today. Um, a marker, if you don't have a marker on hand, uh, or if you're in a situation where you are not allowing little ones to use markers, that's perfectly fine. It's not essential. This is just what I like to use uh, to outline my uh, my drawings after I've finished creating them. Um, a pen works just as well as a marker uh, if you've got a pen nearby. Uh, I, I probably won't be using the pen today, but uh, it works just as well. And if you haven't got a pencil nearby, grab a pen either way, okay? So let's talk about Hello Kitty. Now Hello Kitty is made up of very, very simple shapes. We're gonna be using circles, uh, straight lines. Uh, it's all very, very, uh, very simple shapes. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's easy. Uh, for some people, you know, drawing isn't easy, but we appreciate that they try. Drawing isn't always for easy for me, but I do my best over here. Uh, so uh, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go pretty straightforward on this one. Uh, let me tell you right now. Uh, I've practiced drawing all three of the characters we're going to draw today. Hello Kitty being the most simplistic of the three is the most difficult for me to make look right. <laughs> and so that just harkens back to me saying uh, I am by no means professional and my pictures will by no means look perfect. <laughs> now if you've got any questions uh, or comments while we're going through these drawings, go ahead and drop those in the comments section. Um, uh, Facebook Live is on a bit of, of a delay from where I am, you're about eight seconds behind me live. So what I'm gonna do is when we're finished, I'll check and see if we've got any questions and answer them at the end. Um, you know, maybe we will, maybe we won't, we'll see. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with our first character here and let's draw Hello Kitty. Uh, now we're gonna start with Hello Kitty's bow. That's gonna be the place we're gonna start. We're just gonna start with a small circle, just like that. So draw yourself just a small circle and starting off easy enough, shouldn't be too hard. And we're going to throw on just a bit of a fat triangle on either side of that. <laughs> just, a, just a big fat triangle. We're just making a very simple bow. Very easy to do. And once you've gotten here, we're just gonna add, there's just a couple little details on the bow. Just like that, a couple little half circles on either side is all. And I know that it's, it can be a little hard to see. Um, I had to choose between a handheld camera that I could move around or keep in one stationary uh, in one place, and I thought that would be a little easier. But just do your best, just the, the, the best you can looking at what I'm doing here. Now we're going to start, uh, we're going to add her first ear, and that's actually going to go right over the bow, just like that. All right, and that is our first ear. For Hello Kitty. Let's see here. All right. Now we're going to start with the top of her head there. That's just a little curved line coming off the bow. Still easy enough. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and draw Hello Kitty's second ear. 
and that's just going to come off the other side of her head just like that all right and that's just another another fat little triangle there alrighty we're gonna go on and we're gonna draw the rest of Hello Kitty's head it's just gonna be just a big circle coming around and that's gonna come around and join on the other side of the boat just like that and that's just a big curved line just a semicircle alright hey let me tell you something this is the best my Hello Kitty has looked <laughs> so far the best one I've done <laughs> All right. Once we get there, we're gonna move on and uh, move on to Hello Kitty's nose. Hello Kitty's nose is just a circle that sits right at the bottom of her head, just like that. Very easy to do. Now, after we finish all these drawings, you can go back and uh, color them, yeah, whatever you like, you know. But we're just gonna be doing the drawings today, and let's go ahead and add her eyes. And those are simple enough as well. Just a couple of small circles. Go ahead and fill them in. And that's one on each side of her nose, just like that. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad so far. I'm rocking this Hello Kitty, I gotta say. I don't want to brag, but I'm rocking this Hello Kitty. All right, now we're going to move on to Hello Kitty's body. And for that, we're going to start right on each side of her head. We're going to put just a straight line. It's just a straight line. One coming out under this eye and one coming out under that eye from the bottom of her head there. All right, and then once we've got that, we're just gonna connect these two lines, just like that. We're basically just making a, a, a rectangle coming off the bottom of her head there. All right, now we're gonna do our best to find the middle, the very center of this rectangle, and we're gonna start our line inside the rectangle and come out of the rectangle just like that. And that's going to be the start of her legs there. Start of Hello Kitty's legs. And let's go ahead and finish off those legs. We're going to come around and make sort of a rounded square. You're making making a square, but the the corners are round. They're not sharp. And we'll do the same thing for the other leg. See what I mean there? Now I am I am by no means a professional. One of my Hello Kitty's legs is quite quite wider than the other, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. I'm just having a good time drawing drawing a, a fun character. Okay. Now from here, let's go ahead and do her collar, and we're just going to go right under her nose, and we're going to do a little semicircle, a little little semicircle right under her nose, connected to her head there. That's just the collar of, of her get up here. Of her dressings all right and then the last oh oh you know what I forgot while we were working on the head we she doesn't have any whiskers we gotta go back and do hello K's whiskers can't be a K without whiskers so we're gonna do we're gonna start on one side and it's just three lines just like that and we'll go and do the same thing on the other side just three lines very simple now that's looking more like hello kitty Alrighty, now we're going to go ahead and draw Hello Kitty's arms, and that's going to be the last thing that we have for this character. Hello Kitty's arms are just a couple of curved lines, a couple of hook shapes that come from her head, so right here near her eye, start here and just do a hook shape that connects to her body, just like that. And then you're going to go about halfway up and just draw another line that connects to her shirt, just like that. So that's going to be her sleeve and her hand. And we're just going to go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other side. A little hook shape and a straight line, just like that. All right. And I tell you what, I really feel like my pencil lines were dark enough on that one. I'm, I don't think I'm going to bother with the, with the permanent marker this time. Okie dokie everybody get a good look at that just for a second before we move on hope you guys are able to, to follow along and keep up well if not once we're finished we'll be able to go back and watch any other part of this you'd like rewatch the hello kitty any other characters we go through totally up to you so all right so i'm going to go ahead and flip my paper flip my page 
Start with a fresh new piece of paper, a fresh new page. Now you don't have to if you want to draw them all on one piece of paper. That's, again, that's completely up to you. Totally fun. You can draw all three of these characters on one piece of paper if you like. That is not a problem. You know what, though? I see a question here. Let me see if I can go ahead and... Let's see. Why do you sound like Batman? <laughs> I've been trying to figure that out for a few days now. <laughs> that is something that will be worked out soon. But for now, the mic is a little low on me. Uh, but I'm not going to let that affect me. We're going to keep rolling right along here. <laughs> now, the next character we're going to do is we're going to draw uh, Mickey Mouse. We're not gonna, we're not gonna try to to do his entire body. Um, we're just gonna draw Mickey's face. Um, and again, Mickey's face is mostly made up of uh, it's just circles and curved lines, really. Um, so it's not too difficult to do. So let's go ahead and switch back to our view of the notebook here, and we're done with Hello Kitty. Get that out of here. Let's pull up Mickey Mouse. We're gonna go ahead and draw Mickey Mouse. Okie dokie, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Kristen. I'm glad that that my my low voice is amusing. <laughs> All right, Mickey Mouse. So with Mickey Mouse, we're going to take a we're gonna take a whack at uh, at sketching. So that means we're gonna get our rudimentary shapes in first, and then we're gonna go back and darken them in so that we can see uh, just Mickey's face and not all of the extra lines that we drew. And that's just going to break Mickey down into very simple shapes uh, that we can follow. So, let me adjust this real quick here. Pull that back just a bit. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a large circle for Mickey's head. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to get our hand moving in a circle until we feel comfortable. And then we're going to put that big circle down on our paper just like that. And it should be a little rough looking. We don't want any we don't want any lines that are too solid yet. And I'll hold that up a bit. So that's just we've just got a circle going. A very light circle that we'll come back and duck it in. Okay. Now if you imagine Mickey's head here, this circle with a clock, twelve o'clock would be right here at the top, and three o'clock would be right here on the side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw another circle right on top at twelve o'clock, slightly smaller. Alright, and looks good to me. And we're going to do the same thing at about 3 o'clock on the outside. We're going to draw just another circle just like that. Now you're starting to see here, you can tell what's going on. This is Mickey, and these are Mickey's ears, but we're nowhere near done yet. This isn't quite good enough for me, okay? Um, so once we get here, we've got our three circles. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start drawing uh, Mickey's snout sort of the part of his face where his nose is going to sit. And to do that, we're going to start on the bottom of our circle here. We're going to follow this line. And when you get to about here, come off. And we're going to make sort of a hot dog shape that comes around just like that. All right. So now we've got Mickey's head, his ears, and we've got sort of a hot dog coming off of his face there. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to go right back to this place we started down here on the bottom of the circle and we're going to come back up inside the circle a little bit again for the rest of his mouth. So that line is just going to come right inside my circle a little bit. See that? And we're going to put just a little curve line right on top of that. You can tell that's Mickey's smile there. Alright, let's go ahead and throw down Mickey's nose and for that we're just going to do sort of an oval. That's just an oval shape. Mickey's nose is just a big oval. That's all. All right, and you know what? My ears are a little small, but you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm going to go ahead and leave them because uh, it's not about being perfect. It's about having fun, enjoying what we're doing, and I am having a good time. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those ears a little small. I'm totally okay with them. And now we're going to finish the rest of Mickey's mouth here, what we're going to do is come up to this very corner of this line we ended on here, and we're going to bring a curve line down and back up just like that. So that's just going to curve down and around just like that. So you can see this is the inside of his mouth here. And we've got that mouth connected to the bottom of our snout. Alright, and you know what? Mickey has a tongue. We need to give him a tongue. 
You couldn't talk if you didn't have one. And that's just going to be one curved line, just like that. And another curved line, just like that. Now what we can do is we're going to go ahead and, once we get that tongue in, take our pencil and just kind of fill his mouth in. It doesn't have to be perfect or pretty. Just we know that's the inside of his mouth, nice and dark. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do Mickey's bottom lip. So we're going to start about here, right right on our circle where our head is. And we're going to come down. We're going to go around his mouth. And we're, we're just going to follow the shape of his mouth back up to his snout. And that's just another curved line right under the mouth, just like that. And I will darken all this up with my marker later on. So, so we've got just a little space here between the mouth and this line. And that is going to create Mickey's bottom lip. All right, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and color in Mickey's nose too. Let me know that's all dark. That's going to be all dark there. That's Mickey's nose. And I'm going to go ahead and darken up my circle that comes around. I'm going to go ahead and commit commit to that circle. So that is my Mickey head, and I'm going to do the same thing with my ears. I've committed to this circle. This is what my drawing is going to look like. And if you don't like it, too bad. Because I'm happy with it. Okay, and we're going to darken in Mickey's snout too. Now don't go through his nose. We're just going to darken in the snout on either side of his nose. But we're going to leave that nose just like it is. Just like that. Alright, so now, as you know, Mickey's face is two different colors. He's got a black part on top, and the rest of his face is sort of a peach color. So we're going to go ahead and... Put in those lines that are going to uh, make the distinction between those two parts of Mickey's face. First, we're going to come up around our cheek and put a curved line just like that. So that's just, again, creating Mickey's cheek there. Now from there, what we're going to do is we're going to find space about half an inch under our top ear. And we're going to start there, and we're going to... Bring a curved line around that connects to Mickey's cheek, just like that. All right, and then for the last little bit, just bring that up, connect it right to the to the front of Mickey's head, just like that. All right. So you can see here, we're we're just about there on this guy. He is looking like Mickey. He's looking like Mickey, but his only problem right now is that he can't look at anything because he doesn't have any eyes. So the last thing we need to do for this Mickey is give him some eyes. And, I, you know, I sort of like the older Mickey eyes. We're going to go with the sort of Steamboat Willie style Mickey, the very old style Mickey. And uh, we're not going to do an eyeball and a pupil. We're just going to do the very simple, very simple Mickey eyes. Very, just little ovals. So you're going to put an oval here for this eye, kind of kind of right above his, his snout line. And then after you get that, we're going to come over here near the side of his head, and we're going to put a smaller oval just like that. Now we're going to do something uh, called a shine. We're going to put a shine on his eyes. And that means I'm just going to draw another little circle right at the top of his eye, just like that. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. And underneath it, I'm going to darken that in. And that just makes Mickey's eyes look nice and shiny. Nice and bright Mickey eyes. Alright, so from here, grab your marker if you've got one, if you're using one. And we're just going to outline this Mickey. Uh, I'm going to start with the nose. You can start anywhere you like. And the point of this is to outline the places we want to keep. And not outline the, the, the pieces we don't need anymore, like this part of the circle. I don't need anymore. I'm going to start at his nose. I'm going to outline his nose. I'm going to do this part of snout. I'm going to come down. Bottom part of snout. Up to his mouth. Do his tongue. I'm going to go ahead and outline the bottom lip. Now I'm going to start here on my circle at the top of his snout. And I'm going to darken this circle all the way around there. I'm going to go ahead and outline my ears. And 
and then I'm going to go right here to this line that breaks up the two colors of his face. I'm going to outline that, and then I'm going to go ahead and outline Mickey's eyes, and I'm going to fill those in with this, guys. I'm going to go ahead and fill in that nose a little bit. That part of his mouth we filled in, and I'm not doing this perfectly pretty. It's this is just just how I like to do it. I'm gonna go ahead and color in those ears because they are dark as well. And if you want to come back and color this in a little better than I'm doing here, that's perfectly fine. This is just quick, down and dirty Mickey Mouse drawing. Not taking up too much time trying to color those things in. And there we have it. We have drawn Mickey Mouse. Very cool. Thank you, Carla. Appreciate it. And just a shout out to Carla. You can see her in the comments there. Uh, she is the one who um, filmed our yoga video that we posted. So thank you very much, Carla. We look forward to uh, seeing more yoga videos. We really appreciate that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and give everybody a look at that if you still need a second. And... All right, and again, once this is done, you can come back and check out any of these you like. Now, I want to tell you the the last character we're going to do, SpongeBob is, he's a little more intricate than Mickey and Hello Kitty. SpongeBob is still made up of uh, very rudimentary shapes, but he's made up of a lot of different shapes. So uh, I'd really like for you to continue to try to follow along with us. If you can, do your best. Um, it's going to be a little more difficult, uh, but I know you can do it. I know you can hang in there. Now with SpongeBob, just like with Mickey, we're going to we're going to use the sketching technique, where we're going to sketch out the very simple shapes, and then we'll come back and define. And define just means uh, we're going to add the details and make it look more like the character does uh, in not in real life, but <laughs> he does on TV. So I'm going to go ahead and flip my page here. Now as we all know, the number one shape that Spongebob is made of is absolutely a square, or in this case sort of a cube. We're gonna do a full-on Spongebob. It's not just gonna be uh, a 2D Spongebob. We're gonna do a 3D uh, Spongebob drawing. So let's go ahead and switch back to our paper camera there. We are done with Mickey. And we're moving on to SpongeBob. All right. Now, again, like I said, this one's going to take us a little more time. We're going to go uh, not too slow, but we're going to make sure we're getting all of our shapes in there. We're going to make sure we're not missing any details. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off drawing SpongeBob's body. And again, like I said, we're going to do the sketching. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw a nice big rectangle. Oh, I'm knocking things over. Look at that. <laughs> Just ignore that. <laughs> We're going to draw a nice big rectangle. All right. Now, once we've got a rectangle, we're going to start at this bottom corner here. And we're going to draw a diagonal line up just like that. All right. Just a diagonal line coming off the corner of our rectangle. Now, on this top one, we're going to do the same thing coming in. And we're going to draw a line that's a little bit longer. Okay, and then of course, as you might have guessed, we're going to go ahead and connect those two lines, just like that. Now you can see SpongeBob starting to take shape here. And what we're going to do next is separate SpongeBob's upper body from his pants, from his square pants. So we're going to go about a half an inch up here on our rectangle, and we're just going to draw a straight line across our rectangle just like that. Now where our line meets this line, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the side and we're going to draw a line. Diagonal line comes up to that side just like that. Alright, looking good. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do for SpongeBob is we're going to draw his eyes. Now as we go through SpongeBob, let me reiterate for a third or maybe fourth time. 
I am by no means a professional artist, just a guy who likes to draw. So again, we may not come out with something that looks perfect, but we're going to come out with something we had fun drawing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move on to SpongeBob's eyes. And as we know, SpongeBob's eyes, they're quite large and they're just sort of a couple of big, a couple of big ovals. So we're going to do an oval here and we want to do, ooh, you know, sometimes we draw things and we go, that's, most things will work for me, but that one won't. <laughs> so we're going to try that again. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and try that again. I'm going to draw an oval here. Over here. That's much better. I'm much more happy with that. Okay. So we've got our two ovals right next to each other on SpongeBob's head. And we're going to, right here on the corner of this oval, we're going to draw a little circle just like that. So we've got a little circle here right on the corner of our oval. Okay. And right, sort of right in the middle of that circle, we're going to put a little curved line just like that. So it's sort of a circle with a little curved line right in the middle. For SpongeBob's nose, we're going to come here right at the bottom of where his eyes meet. So right here at the at the crux of where his eyes meet, we're just going to come out and do just a little hot dog shape. SpongeBob's nose is, is basically just a hot dog shape. Once we've got that, we're going to come down to the bottom of his nose, sort of right in the middle, right at the very bottom. We're going to draw a curved line out just like that. So a little hook. A little hook coming down right from his nose, just right there. That's going to be part of his top lip. Now right at the point of the hook we just drew, so right here, we're going to start here, and we're going to come around, sort of flat, and then curve up right into the middle of that circle we drew. So right into the into the middle of that curved line we drew in that circle, we're going we're gonna to bring that line right up in there. All right, and we're going to go on to SpongeBob's teeth. So we're going to start right here, sort of right, right under where his lip meets his nose, and we're just going to draw just a square, just like that, and do the exact same thing right next to it. He's got a couple of those chompers there. All right, and for SpongeBob's bottom lip, the very bottom part of his mouth. We're going to start here, where our mouth, our cheek line, our, our curve line here. We're going to come down, and we're going to make a curve line that just comes right up into his tooth, just like that. Just like that. All right, and just like Mickey Mouse, SpongeBob does have a tongue. So we're going to go ahead and do a curve line there, and a curve line there, just like that for SpongeBob's tongue. And if you want to darken the inside of his mouth, just like we did Mickey, that's cool too. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So that's the inside of SpongeBob's mouth. All right, so let's come up here on the cheek where we drew this circle. And we're going to start kind of right next to this curve line. And we're just going to outline the top part of that circle. Just like that. We're just going to we're going to outline the whole circle just the very top of it. Just to create his cheek there. Now we're going to move on to this eye, the first eye we drew, and we're going to outline that. Just to the cheek, not through the cheek, just to the cheek. So here, come around to there and stop. And with his second eye, we're going to go ahead and outline it, and we're going to stop where it meets his nose. So right where that eye meets his nose, we're going to stop there, and we're going to stop where it meets his other eye. And we're going to come down here to the crux where his two eyes meet, and outline that to his nose as well. So now we've got his nose and his eyes. Now SpongeBob's pupils. He has an he has an outer oval, so one oval, and he has an inner pupil, which is darker. And again, I'm going to go ahead and give him a shine in his pupil, just like we did with Mickey, and I'm going to color that in. So that is just a circle inside of a circle, is all that is. And we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Just a circle in a circle. Color it in. All right. 
great. Now we all know SpongeBob has those big black eyelashes and we're gonna go ahead and draw those on. And I'm not just gonna do lines. I'm gonna go ahead and make little rectangles. I'm gonna do little boxes. So my SpongeBob eyelashes, and I'll show them to you after I get them drawn on here. I'll hold them up so you can see what I'm talking about. That I make them little boxes. So let me go ahead and hold that up. Now I, I draw those eyelashes as little boxes. Because they're very thick. It's very thick eyelashes. And I'm going to color those in. Alright, looking good. That is very clearly Spongebob. And I'm sure you guys are doing just as well. I believe it. Alright, and Spongebob's got some freckles on his cheek. So I'm going to draw three little circles. Just three circles on a cheek. And that's just... They almost look like a couple of eyes and a little nose. Right on his cheek there. All right, and being a sponge, of course, SpongeBob has holes or pores. Now, for these, it's very simple. We're just going to do ovals, a big one and a small one there. Same thing here, a big one and a small one there. We're going to do just one big one here. And we're going to do a big one and a small one there. All right. And he's also got some on, on the side of his head here, too, on his side. And that is also a very simple pattern. That just goes big, small, big, small. That's all. Very easy. Very easy to do. All right. Now let's get to some of the easier stuff, the very, very simple stuff. And oh, yo, again, me with the, with the forgetting. Forgetting Hello Kitty's whiskers first, and now SpongeBob doesn't have a bottom lip. Goodness gracious. Now SpongeBob's bottom lip is very easy. That's just going to be a couple of curved lines joined together, just like that. Very easy. Just a couple of swoops. Like an upside down mountain. Like a chubby W. That's what we'll say. That It's a chubby W for SpongeBob's bottom lip. All right. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are having a good time. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now, right under SpongeBob's mouth is where we're going to start drawing SpongeBob's clothing. So, first we're going to start with his tie. And right under his lip, we're just going to draw a little, a little semicircle, just a little curve line, just like that. Right under his lip. Okay. Now, the rest of his tie is just a diamond. So, we're just going to put a diamond on that curve line just like that. Spongebob's tie is very easy. It's just a curve line and a diamond. Now on either side of Spongebob's tie he has his collar. You can see his collar flip down and that is really just a couple of triangles. So it's just an upside down triangle. It's just an upside down point. That's it. Just like that. Very simple. Now the separation between Sponge, Spongebob's shirt and his pants is just a line. So we're going to start right on the corner of his tie, right on the diamond, and we're going to draw a line straight to the other side, just like that. We're just cutting these two sections in half. We're just going from his tie over, and just like before, we're going to start where we left off on that line, and make a curved line up just like that. And we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side of his body. We're going to start at the tie, the diamond point, and we're just going to draw a line to the side just like that. Alright, we're getting there. Now Spongebob's also got a belt, and the belt is very simple. We're just going to use lines. I'm just going to do lines for his belt. So we're going to do a line there. A line there. We're going to do the same thing over here. A couple of lines. Just like that. And we're going to do one line in the middle of the side. Just like that. Now that's Spongebob's belt. Very simple. Okay. So now we're going to move on to what may be 
the more difficult parts of SpongeBob, and that is his arms and his legs. But we're going to get through it. Okay, we're going to get through this together. All right, so we're going to start with SpongeBob's left arm on this side. Okay, now what we're going to do is this shape. There is no name for this shape. I'm going to try. It's sort of like a bell. It's the bottom of a bell, but it's going to be on its side. So it's going to come up, around, and back in. Just like that. It's sort of a fat triangle. Sort of like the fat triangle in the Hello Kitty bow. It's very similar. And, and that's SpongeBob's sleeve. I, I should have led with that. That's SpongeBob's sleeve. <laughs> So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Spongebob's right arm on this side and we're going to draw his other sleeve. And that is going to be just a fat triangle. No pointed sides, very curved sided triangle. And inside this triangle, we're going to start, or we're going to, we're going to draw a curved line, just like that. Just like that. Sort of like it's got a little sad face, a sad triangle. Okay, now we're going to start sort of here on the side of the sad mouth of our triangle sad face, and we're going to draw a line that just comes out straight out just like that. And over on the other side of the sad mouth, we're going to do the exact same thing. Oh, that's a little chubby. I'm gonna... SpongeBob's arm was a little big there. I'm going to do the same thing, come out just like that. And we're going to come over to his left arm, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Straight line comes out just like that, and another straight line right next to it, just like that. All right. On the ends of his arms, on the ends of the straight lines, we're going to draw a little circle. We're going to sketch in a little circle, just very lightly, because this circle isn't going to stay a circle. We just want to be able to tell where his hands are. For his hands, hands are always one of the hardest things for me to do myself. Hands are a little difficult to draw. But what we're going to do is we're just going to draw four little hot dogs on the circle. Okay, so we're going to have four little worms sticking out of this apple. We're going to put a little worm here. We're going to put a little worm here. A little worm here. And a little worm here. And we're going to take that circle right around to the arm. And now we're going to connect our worms through the apple with the edge of the apple, just like that. There we go. Look at that. Pretty easy. Worms in an apple. Who knew? We're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing for the other hand. We're going to make some worms come out of this apple. Worm there. Worm there. Worm there. And a worm there. Look at that. Now our SpongeBob has hands. Now on his thumb, this first worm, start at the very base of that worm, where that worm starts coming out, and we're going to draw just a curved line that kind of goes into the circle just like that. And I'll show you on this side as well, right where the thumb meets, where the worm meets the apple, and we're going to draw a curved line that comes in just like that. And I'll hold that up so you can see it. See there? All right. All right, SpongeBob's arms. That is one of the hardest things this character. So let's move on to SpongeBob's legs. And then after that, all we've got is to throw in our details. And uh, then you'll have a completed SpongeBob picture. So let's go to the bottom here of his pants. And just like with his, with his sleeve here, we're going to do the exact same thing on the bottom of his pants. He needs two of those. So one towards the side here. And then one towards the other side. Same thing. And my SpongeBob's in sort of a wide stance. That's okay. He's a football player. This SpongeBob is. He plays a lot of football. American football. <laughs> All right. Now, once we've got the bottom of our pants, these are his short legs. Of course, those are his shorts. We're going to draw, again, just straight lines. Coming out and sort of back, just pointing back just a little bit. Same same thing as his arms, very similar. And that's just because I like my SpongeBob to be 
jumping out at somebody. So I put his legs a little bit back like he's jumping forward. He's going forward. All right, now SpongeBob's got some, he wears gym socks. SpongeBob wears real high gym socks. So we're gonna draw the top of his socks on his legs, just like that. And he's got a couple of lines on his socks too. So we're gonna put two more lines. So we're gonna have three lines on his leg, just like that. All right, now SpongeBob's shoes. SpongeBob's shoes, we're gonna break down, just like his hands, into some circles. We're gonna have a small circle right at the base of his leg. And then we're gonna join that to a big circle. Just like that. Just like that. All right, and then I'm gonna connect those two circles to make sort of a peanut shape. So you can just connect your two circles into sort of a peanut shape. So that way, if I were to erase the middle of my two circles, See there? I've got sort of a peanut shaped shoe. So remember his sock meets his shoe. I'm going to draw a curved line just like that for the bottom of his sock where it goes into a shoe. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just a curved line, the sock going into a shoe. And you can freestyle with the shoelaces. I'm not going to tell you how to draw shoelaces. You draw them however you want. This is how I'm going to do a shoelaces. I'm going to do a figure eight with a couple of sticks. And then I'm going to draw a couple of lines just like that. All right. So now, uh, what I think is the last detail we're going to do on this guy, I think he's looking pretty good, is SpongeBob is very, his body is very wavy. It's not straight, right? SpongeBob is not a box. He is very wavy. He's a sponge. So we're going to start here on our corner, and we're going to make a squiggly line that follows this, this line all the way to the top. So we're just gonna squiggle it up just like that. And we are gonna do the same thing on this side. Squiggly line all the way to the top. And then do the same thing on the top of his head. A squiggly line that connects those two lines. Look at that. And then the last two squiggly lines we need is we need one here. Squiggly line here and a squiggly line here. All right, now the very last thing we're going to do on this guy, because uh, I, I think this live stream is just about long enough. Let's finish up our SpongeBob here. Last thing we're going to do is, is I'm going to go ahead and outline him. And uh, you can start wherever you'd like. Uh, Remember to just outline the parts that you need. You don't want to outline all the, the full circles that we made. So on his cheek, I'm only outlining, outlining the top. Same with his eyes. I'm only outlining the part that we need. So the first eye goes to the cheek. And then the nose comes in front of the second eye. So I'm going to outline his nose. And I'm only going to outline his second eye to the places that are behind, behind his nose. So I'm not going to outline the bottom because that's behind his nose. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in those eyelashes black. I'm going to move on to Spongebob's bottom lip that we drew. Outline that. Or his top lip, excuse me, and then his bottom lip. Draw his teeth in there and his tongue. Now we're going to do that bottom lip. It's looking good. Let's keep it up. Go ahead and do his eyes. Try my best to keep that shine. My marker's a little fat tip for it. That's okay. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and start doing parts of his body. I'm going to start here on the bottom. And I'm going to do these curved lines. I'm not going to outline the straight line. I'm going to outline the curved lines that we made. Same thing on his side. I'm going to outline his curve lines. Now I'm going to outline his sponge holes or his pores. Same thing over here. But first I'm going to outline his sleeve. That way I don't go through his sleeve. Now his sleeve meets his arm. So we're going to start where it meets his arm and we're going to stop where it meets the other side of his arm. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and draw that curve line and then I'm gonna draw his arm and instead of drawing that whole apple I'm just gonna draw I'm just gonna uh, outline where we had the worms coming out of the apple so instead of the whole apple just just the worms same thing on this sleeve Remember, instead of the whole apple, we're going to outline the worms, just like that. Let's finish up his pants here. Bring that line around. I'm going to move on to his high next and his collar. Now I'm going to outline where we separated his pants from his shirt and his belt. Now the only thing we've got left is SpongeBob's legs. I'm going to add in his sock lines. And that peanut shape for the shoe. Not the whole circles, just the peanut shape. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and give him a ground to stand on. And to do that, you just draw a line kind of behind his feet like that. And we can do a couple of those little flower doodads that you see all over the place when you watch SpongeBob behind him. And that's our that's our SpongeBob. And remember, the more you practice, the better you'll get at uh, at drawing these characters and just any cartoons you want to draw. So, uh, thank you so much for hanging there with us through this live stream. It was a long one. Feel free to go back to any of the characters we went through. Uh, feel free to like and share. Please do like and share. Um, and we will see you next week. If you have any uh, suggestions you'd like to make for future live streams, go ahead and pop those in the comments. Uh, or message Farmington Recreation Center or Sycamore Park Community Center directly on Facebook Messenger. Uh, so we hope you have a good evening, stay safe, uh, wear a mask if you're out, and we will see you next week.